Hi friends, DK this side. A very important topic relating to hot sectors for the purpose of trading or short term trading in the stock market of India was discussed during the live streaming session of Ask DK on Sunday 30th October 2022. Normally Ask DK live streaming comes on our both the channels, but due to the technical constraint and reasons, uh, it was live streamed only on one channel and hence on this channel we present the extracts of that very important discussion that took place uh, which covered top three sectors which can be of help in the current week for the purpose of finding a stock for the purpose of trading short term trading and also i have taken up one stock in that video with a precise trading strategy which looked good to me in terms of short term trading, which might yield a good risk to reward ratio. To watch this video till end, don't forget to like the video right now. Ask DK today, we have decided to take up the sectors, stock market sectors which are likely to remain in focus. The moment we identify the right sectors which are trending up, then we can easily find the stocks within that sector which will uh, is likely to give a, a winning proposition in the stock market. Uh, I am going to discuss about the three sectors. I am not talking about the financials. Of course, the financial has a good opportunity because uh, uh, financial is in a massive uptrending mood. I am not talking because we have discussed many a times financials. We cover it uh, uh, during our uh, you know weekly live streaming sessions and so many other stuffs we provide for financial service sector. But these today three sectors we will be talking about and in the end we will uh, you know discuss about one stock I have chosen from one of these three sectors, which according to me can give us a good risk to reward ratio uh, for a short term trading. So friends, let us go straight away to the price chart. And before that, don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell. So friends, we are starting with the sector number one. That is a capital good sector. Now we are referring to the price chart of, you recall from capital goods sectors, we have made several videos. We made the video on Bharat Electronics Limited, that is BEL. We made a video on BHEL, uh, Bharat Heavy Electricals. We made a video on Larson and Tubro. We made a video on Siemens. We made a video on Hindustan Aeronautic Limited. And all these stocks have given a phenomenal return after we discussed about the technical analysis on the channel. And we discussed very recently uh, during our live streaming session, uh, Bharat Forge, Algae Equipment, etc. So these are the capital good stocks uh, which we have already discussed. But today I'm going to share one stock which has not been discussed on the channel as of now in a recent time. Now, what we see on the price chart of capital goods uh, index, uh, it is a weekly price chart. We can see the rise, nice rounding bottom pattern. It was struggling here and finally it gave a breakout over here. And then, uh, you know, market structure is higher highs and higher lows. In the recent time, it has done a complex correction. Price took support on EMA 55. And here we can see a beautiful accumulation band which got formed, which finally gave a breakout on 4th July 2022. Now you can see the recent formation. Let me enlarge this particular portion. What you can see in this index, this recent time correction which took place. It was a formation of a bullish pin bar on 26th September, followed by bullish engulfing, followed by a little loss on upside momentum uh, and inside bar formation. But subsequently, the loss of downside momentum exhibited by the inverted hammer. And now in the last week, there is a follow through of inverted hammer, which is a reversal candlestick pattern. So here, if you see, it has already given a breakout of 
a bullish flag. I am drawing this. This has given a bullish flag with a massive impulse formation. So this index is currently trading at 32,761.68. And uh, what would be the target based on this uh, head and shoulder uh, breakout which has taken place? The next target could be to 36,500 plus. So there is an upside cushion still left over here. Now let us go to another index and this is uh, Nifty Auto. So automobile sector is also in a bullish territory. What we can see in the, uh, this was the area price was facing multiple resistance, multiple resistance. And finally, this was actually was in a some kind of range bound movement. And this was the broader range in which the price was trading and it was a resistance area. This became a support. So it formed a base at around 9,450. And then this was the area of resistance. And finally, it gave a breakout of this massive range for so many weeks on 4th July. And what we can see now, the recent time correction, it was a correction where we have a formation of bullish pin bar on 3rd October. Then there was a loss of momentum on downside, inside bar kind of formation. Then on 17th October, we have seen a bullish engulfing and a follow through now. So this index is looking ready for an upside move. If I simply project the target based on this range breakout, the next target comes at 13,750. Currently it is trading at 13,190, but the next 100% expansion target is at 15,000. So this index is also making higher lows kind of formation. I'm drawing this trend line. You can see the price support, price support, price support. Once again, the bounce back with the formation of a bullish candlestick pattern can be seen on the price chart. So this sector is uh, likely to give a good result in the forthcoming week. Now let us go to the another sector, which is a infrastructure sector. This is the price chart of Nifty Infra. What we can see, this trend line can be seen. Price is making higher lows kind of formation. In the recent correction, price took supported EMA 55, which was a confluence of this trend line, which I have drawn. Can I draw another trend line? So friends, this trend line uh, will help you to understand uh, symmetrical triangle as well. Uh, what we can see in the weekly price chart, it has shown some kind of complex correction, multi drive correction, which is a kind of harmonics. Uh, and uh, after this impulsive wave, price corrected. And if I check the retracement of the recent correction, what we can see, the price has taken support at something around 1.1%, uh, 8%. That is a golden ratio. And then it is showing a boss buy. Can we see the typical uh, accumulation phase? Uh, this is the accumulation from where the price has come out in the last week. So this is a breakout of a symmetrical triangle. If we go to the uh, daily price chart, what we can see daily price chart is, let me remove the drawing and daily price chart is also indicating the bounce back from the critical support exhibited by this trend line. And here we can see a typical formation of reaccumulation phase because the overall structure is bullish. Price was consolidating in a range that gave a breakout over here and there is a follow through price rejection, price rejection, price rejection. So this could be a something like with a larger perspective of the uptrending move. This could be a very, very significant and important cup and handle kind of formation, which in fact has given a breakout. If we consider this as a handle, of course, it has a little deeper correction, but not very deep. So this has given a breakout. So this is the handle formation. This is the cup formation. And based on this, if we calculate the target, what could be the potential target in this? The next target could be to 5,750. And currently it is trading at 5,164. So this is likely to face minor kind of resistance at 5,250 to 5,300. But this resistance is insignificant simply because it is in a markup phase. 
so we have to find the suitable stocks within these sectors for building our trading strategy in a particular stock now as i as i told you so it is from a capital good sector what you can see this is a grindwell norton what we can see in the recent time it is in a massive uptrending move making higher highs and higher lows kind of formation and there was a quite a substantial and sizable healthy correction during this phase but the price took support at uh, ema 55 at a very important level and here there was a i am drawing it this was a uh, price consolidated here for a long time so it was quite expected that the price will take support over here so here it is a formation of a double bottom apex of the double bottom gave a breakout over here on uh, a decisive breakout came out in a uh, 16 august and that there is a throwback phenomenon in this stock in the recent time where the price has taken support uh, at the level where it was a resistance earlier so i am fine tuning it and uh, this was a resistance and there was a confluence of ema 21 we have seen you know uh, reducing size of the candlestick body indicating the loss of downside momentum which was well supported by the formation of bullish pin bar on 10th october then inverted hammer on 17th october and now currently trendel uh, is a bullish candle and uh, so this gives us an opportunity now why this correction has started if i if i just take out the target on the basis of uh, this uh, key key level take out if i calculate the target on the basis of this uh, so the target comes at around uh, uh, you know the first target has been achieved over here so next target will come something around here now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the price action what we can see it was a massive range bound uh, stock which was taking support in the lower fiber and upper fibers were acting as a resistance now this particular zone gave a breakout here and the first target was achieved which was something around 2350 uh, and uh, after this the correction started now now it seems that the correction is over because the price has uh, consolidated for uh, you know several days in this zone and now it is a uh, forming something like uh, can we draw the trend line i am drawing a trend line price has taken multiple support here multiple support here and if i draw a counter trend line also to find out some more confluence what we can see it gave a breakout of this counter trend line here and then there was a throwback to test this trend line which was the confluence of ema 55 rising trend line falling trend line so now this gives us an opportunity to create a trading strategy how to create a trading strategy in this stock and what is likely to be risk to reward ratio so for me uh, what i have set uh, a strategy i will discuss with you it is up to you to take a call can you see that the last trading session despite of the bullish uh, engulfing candle on 27th october there was some kind of loss of upside momentum however short term trend intermediate trend long term trend all are bullish so we consider the point of rejection the high of 27th october candle and accordingly we set a buy limit stop order something here at a uh, a uh, 2092 level i am explaining all those things so that if you are learning from our free tutorial series zero to hero which is all tutorials are available in the playlist zero to hero then you will understand as to how trading strategy is built so i put a buy gtt order at uh, 2092 and create right now when the market is closed if that gets triggered i am marking 2092 is the buy limit gtt order where should be my stop loss what we can see i don't want my stop loss to be lost uh, in market noises uh, by the way let me tell you this is a uh, high alpha low beta stock it's a uh, volatility is very very less 
so it is not likely to be very very volatile and hence less risky stock its relative strength is also high what does it mean it has outperformed in last one year benchmark index nifty 50 and also outperformed the benchmark index nifty 50 in last three months time so a stop loss could be you can see the uh, price uh, resistance price resistance so this dotted line could be a good support what is the lowest point at this dotted line i find the lowest point at 1967 so 1967 i set my stop so i am marking a stop at 1967 so this is my stop so what i am taking a risk of 2092 minus 1967 as my risk per share in this particular stock. So now I can do my uh, risk management through position sizing, which has been taught to you in our tutorial series 0 to 0. If I correctly recall, it is a video number 31 on our Hindi channel and some other video number on our English channel. But that is relating to the risk management. So I set a buy limit stop order at 2092. My stop loss is 97, uh, 1967. And for which target I should play? Since the first target has been achieved, so the next possible target is something around here. And I am putting up the target at uh, 25, target at 2567. This is my target. I am putting 2567 as my target, little below the target which I am arriving uh, on the basis of this price action. So this is my target. What is happening is current market price is 2065, 65.95. I am putting a buy limit stop order. I am not hurrying to buy the stock. Uh, so I am choosing my entry price at 2092 for which I can create a GTT order buy limit stop order. My stop loss is predefined before I have initiated this trade, which is at 1940. So I'm taking a risk of 152 rupees per share. Now my target is coming 2,576. Let me, let me correct this target. 2,576. 2576. I have wrongly typed it. 2576 is my target. So my target is coming at 2576. So the potential profit is 484 per share. I do not know whether my stop loss will get triggered or my target will get hit. But I am taking all the precaution by setting the precise trading strategy in this particular stock to play for a risk to reward ratio of 1 is to 3.18, which is pretty good risk to reward ratio for a short term trading. So this is what I wanted to uh, give a bonus stock to you this Super Sunday, whether uh, entry will trigger or not trigger, this trade will become null and void. If entry doesn't get triggered and stop loss triggers before the entry has triggered, we neither incurred the loss nor made the money. So we are out of the trade because the trade will become null and void. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.